Hi there, um, got a Ford Maverick uh, 90DA model which is basically the same as a uh, Nissan Patrol and now I'm got to replace the water pump because I had a leak, coolant leak I replaced the radiator which was $500 and I was still leaking so the radiator guys can't do water pumps mechanics have to um, now it's going to cost probably about three to four hundred dollars to do the water pump so I bought the water pump myself and that's it there from Repco, seventy five dollars um, new gasket and the water pump itself which I'll show you later when we start doing it um, so it's much cheaper to do it yourself if you can, it's the first time I've done it. So I'll record it because there is nothing on um, YouTube regarding water, water pump for uh, this type of car, this is a Ford Maverick. So I'm going to try and record some of it and try and give, let people know. Anyway, so that's the water pump and then you've got, obviously got to get a gasket to seal it. Uh, with it, which is, so I've got this one, Loctite blue silicon RTV gasket, um, to put the new cell on, okay, I'll record some more later, thanks, bye. Hi there, well, we're just looking at replacing this water pump on the uh, Ford Maverick uh, 90 DA model, um, equivalent to any Nissan Patrol and the water pump is basically that there where that nut is, that piece there so you might have to take this uh, it's called a collar on the radiator plastic bit here off uh, firstly drain the coolant we're just going to take the bottom hose off the radiator then take this collar off. What do you call that again? That plastic bit? Cowling. The cowling. And then undo these bolts on the alternator so the belts can come off. And then we should have enough. Uh, then you take your fan off. Then that other piece behind the fan, there's four bolts there. And you take that off. And eventually you get into where the water pump is which is pretty easy on these cars but on a lot of cars it's tucked away underneath so that's the way we're going to go um, and uh, so we'll see how we go and I'll record try and record bits as we go but that's the uh, water pump there on the Ford Maverick Nissan Patrol oh, okay, just emptied the coolant Put the bottom hose off the cool off the radiator. Put a tub underneath because the coolant will kill your grass. Put a tub underneath, catch all the coolant. Now uh, replace the water pump. And now we're on the process of getting rid of take the fan off. Check your fan where you where you got it because this one of mine has had it. You can see the cracks in it. There's cracks, big crack there, see? Um, another one there, so she's as old as a car, this this fan, I'd say, which is 22 years old. So it's due for a new fan, but I'll just do the pump today and just pop a new fan on during the week, because we haven't got time to go back and get one. Alright, so coolant, then fan, uh, which is a few bolts on this side down here, down in there, just get your ratchet in there. Why don't you take the fan off and you've got your next step. Okay, uh, thanks for there, Yeah, we're just replacing the water pump on the Ford Maverick Cross Nissan Patrol 90 model. We've just taken the fan off and the tensioner belts on the alternator and undone and got down to the water pump which we've removed. That's it there, the old water pump. You can see. Got a leak at the bottom here. See all the water there. It was 
that has been run. You can tell where it's been run. It's the old water pump. Um, just took that straight off here. Uh, Ted's just in there cleaning up, cleaning the old gasket off the face. You got to get that's very important to get that right, clean. Um, you got to get that spot on. Put the new water pump on. You got to get all that old gasket off. So that's the area there to put the new gasket on. So um, we'll keep on going on with this, and uh, and uh, hopefully everything will be right. So uh, that's the, uh, the uh, that's where the water pump goes, just in there. Okay, thanks, bye. Uh, so we've just cleaned the, um, the old gasket off the water pump. And use a razor blade if you can, such as just scrape all the old pump off uh, gasket off if you can. And we've got the new pump over here. We're putting the um, new little uh, bolt studs in. That's uh, the old one there, with the old studs. And we've got the new pump here, and we're putting the studs in with the short thread going in first, a long thread out. We just tighten that down as far as it can go. So we'll see how that goes. Okay. Hi there. We're just at the stage of putting the new gasket on and putting smearing on some uh, gasket glue, uh, blue silicon. It's called Loctite. I think they say don't use your hands, but we're just going to smear it on and wash our hands straight after. Just want enough to cover it. Okay, right. Smear it all around on the new gasket for the water pump. Shove it on. I'll put it straight onto the not very thick, but put it straight under the uh, the uh, under the uh, the engine face of the gasket where it should go and the water pump. Oh, got it around the right way. Did it wrong. Didn't do that right, Chase. Uh -huh. I did it right. Yes, I did. It's just come around the back end. Mm. The new gasket's on there. Um, we're going to get the uh, new water pump. We're putting gasket glue on the water pump itself where the gasket should go. I don't need to smear that really there. Yeah. Mm -hmm.
and just put it on the new water pump. And just thin it out where you can. That's where that bit of stuff. Oh, right that there. Yeah. Right there. Let's do it. Now, here's a delicate part. Gas, the new uh, water pump on. Now it's a matter of tightening this on. Uh, not too tight, but you'll be just right with it. Alright, well, I'll come back when we've got the rest of the got to still put on a few things there on the under the new water pump and then the fan and the fan is uh, I need a new fan actually but I'll have to get that tomorrow as you can see keep an eye on your fans got cracks in mine I've got a new fan they're worth about ninety dollars apparently it's super cheap but yeah I'll come back and show you when we oh, yeah, um, tighten this new water pump on now um, Ted's just doing it by eye. I think they say you're supposed to have certain pressures and on each bolt, but if you think, you just keep an eye on it. Uh, we just got to tighten this up a bit. And then we'll put on the rest of the, rest of the attachments. Okay. Alright, well, well, we're putting these bits back on the water pump. That's for the, the piece there for the belts to go under. And that on there is, I don't know what, um, the, um, thermal fan, is it? Yeah. yeah. Thermal Thematic fan. control. Thematic control. That goes on there. Then you put your bolts on. Then you put your fan back on. Then you put your belts on and fill her up with coolant and see how it goes should be right then anyway so this is the process here and not so easy either I hope it's helping ok thanks bye well we've just put on the water pump new one belts and now the fan then we'll put the what's it called the Cowling. Cowling back on the radiator and then fill it up with coolant. Tie that bottom hose, bolt that bottom hose back on the radiator. Fill up with coolant and start her up and hopefully the new water pump will be sweet. Uh, that's, that's how you do a water pump on a Nissan Patrol Ford Maverick, which there was nothing there before in, so there's something there, something there now we can look at. Okay, thank you, Bob. Hi there, well, we're finished putting the new water pump in the Ford Maverick. Uh, basically, same as Nissan Patrol 1990 model. Standing there. So far, so good, it should be right. Take for run and see how we go, but. As you can see, you can pretty well do your own water pump in these cars relatively easy. And uh, so, if you can give it a go, give it a go. Okay, thanks for Jason. Bye.